When the Tonys are handed out Sunday, Matilda is a name you might hear a lot. The musical adaptation of the popular children's book is up for 12 awards. Four young girls shared the little role. They sat down with Mo Rocca. Mo, good morning. Good morning. Matilda the musical is drawing high praise from critics and kids alike. Much of it for the four girls that are rotating in the lead role. Proof that sometimes it's the littlest stars that shine the brightest. One, two, three, Maggie! For the first time on Broadway, four actresses are sharing a starring role. Sophia Genuza, Millie Shapiro, Bailey Ryan, and Una Lawrence all play the title role of Matilda in the musical adaptation of the popular children's book by Roald Dahl. There are other heroines on Broadway this season. There's Cinderella, there's Annie. What's special about Matilda? Millie. Well, in Annie, Annie just waits for something to happen, and same with Cinderella. But Matilda does something. She, she takes control. She states a pretty powerful message. She lets you know, if you don't like your story, you could always change it. Matilda Wormwood is an exception to the rules. An exception to the rules. Matilda is the story of a precocious five-year-old forced to confront an evil headmistress <laughs> and even worse parents. Matilda has terrible, stupid parents, <laughs> a mean, sadistic headmistress. Yeah. But is she a victim? Well, she kind of chose not to be a victim. When I grow up. When I grow up. Tim Minchin wrote the songs for Matilda. You've written a show that's for a lot of people, but kids love, but there's nothing Google Gaga about it. No. It's not cutesy. It's not saccharine. Uh, and that's a huge amount to do with Dahl, a huge amount to do with Dennis Kelly, who wrote the, the, the script adaptation. Dahl's story is hardly traditional. Likewise, Minchin's music has bucked Broadway convention. It's not show tuney, and the kids don't sing in a show tuney way. It's, it's very uh, sort of gritty or something. I mean, it, it, and I say this as a compliment, the kids are kind of like your hair, yeah, in a way. Yeah, that's right. They're, well, they're Dali and they're, they're messy. On these walls, I hang wonderful pictures. Keeping the lead performance is natural, not too polished or actory, is one reason why producers wanted four girls to rotate the role of Matilda. It's not like it's an easy role for one kid to play eight times a week anyway. This role of Matilda is the most is, as far as I know, the biggest child role ever really attempted in terms of time on stage and the things they have to do. And not only are these kids doing that job at the age of nine, but they are, they're not even speaking in their own voice. Is there any particular word, Bailey, that you love saying in a British accent? Well, we do say the word mm -hmm. narcolepsy in it. Which How is do you very... say narcolepsy with a British accent? Narcolepsy. 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 You won't fall asleep during this show. Matilda's got telekinetic powers, the ability to move things with her mind. Are you guys familiar with the film Carrie? No. She had telekinetic powers. Some kids were mean to her. Then at her high school prom, well, let's just say all heck broke loose. How would you use telekinetic powers if you had them? <laughs> Gonna try to think of a reasonable answer. All right. It doesn't have to be reasonable. All right, fine. <laughs> I'd steal a bunch of popcorn and bacon. <laughs> Say if you were hungry, you could bake a million pies at once with like not even touching <laughs> she it. She loves pie. Pie. Okay. I don't know what I would use them for. Getting I'm, books? Oh yeah, I could I would, like, instead of having to walk all the way to the library, I could like check out them from my house. <laughs> and I'd be like, come to me. <laughs> and then I wouldn't have to pay, turn the pages. Bailey, how would you use them? I would like, if something bad was happening, say like someone was fighting between one thing, I could like freeze time and then get the same thing and give it to both people and then make time go back and make them stop fighting. Well, that's or, very nice, actually, I, that you used it. Now do you feel guilty for asking for popcorn and bacon with your telekinetic powers? I love bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love her because she loves bacon, yeah, exactly. clearly. And I, as you know, Mo, I saw this with my three kids, and I was worried because it's two and a half hours long. I mean, they were wrapped. It is incredible. And they are, those girls who play this role, 
superb. An all-American, and they, uh, it's a new, it, it feels very new. Yes. And it may be the new Annie, who knows, but um, those actresses are, are tremendous, and they really, I was I was struck by there's nothing non there's nothing competitive about them. Mm -hmm. I mean they're really happy to be to have the support of each other. But twelve just, nominations and the girls weren't nominated for lead role. No, um, the director Matthew Warkus um, wanted it, it didn't uh, want to. Mo, thank you so other. much. You oh, can sorry, catch the Tony Awards this Sunday at eight.